So again, any new therapy comes, we don't have a long-term data. Whether this gene therapy is going to last for longer or whether these cells are going to stay for a few years and whether they're going to be lost and then the sickle cell disease will come back. All these questions are there. As the time goes, we'll have answers for it. But the short term in the results, uh, in a clinical trials, it's appearing good. Uh, like transplant, we know once it's done, it's for life. If you cross uh, about two years after the transplant, five years, we say it's cure and you don't lose the donor after five years. But in gene therapy, there is a little concern whether they will revert back to the full sickle cell disease after a few years, whether these cells will uh, decay. All these questions are there. And there are a few complications with giving T cells like cytokine release syndrome, all that, but things will get better. But how we choose the patients, I think the first line is still going to be a transplant for patients who have a sibling, but people who don't have a sibling, who are younger, who are going through a lot of complications, like they're having a multiple painful crisis, prolonged hospital admissions, or a neurological problems, like they're developing strokes, or they have a family history. Sometimes you hear in sickle families, there are three deaths, sudden deaths. Those are the patients you identify a high risk group and then put them through a transplant. If they don't have that option, then yes, gene therapy.